Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of All- Wait, who the heck are you? <laughs> you know, I was about to ask the same darn thing, my friend. I was here for the video filming segment. Look, my friend, I don't know where you came from, but why don't you go back to the Baguette Factory where every Benji is known to come from? I don't think you understand, my friend. I am you. From the future. What? Uh, there are so many great things to bestow on this very moment. But for now, my friend, you have to go. Now this feels right. Hello there, everyone, and welcome to a brand new episode of All About a First Year, the series where we interview furries. Get to know a little bit more about the furry fandom. One furry at a time. Yes, yes, you. Yeah. So a few videos back, I did a video on the top five underrated furry YouTubers. <laughs> and ironically enough, one of the furry YouTubers I mentioned in there, we are interviewing today. And that is Adobe the Red Wolf. Yes, 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 yes. Boy. As always, I'll ask him five questions. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Yes. All right. Well, uh, thanks for having me, Benji. I really appreciate it. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here. So the first question I have for you, Adobe, is who is Adobe? Well, Adobe is energetic and extrovert, pretty obnoxious to be fair, uh, but Adobe is also me. Adobe was something that I kind of aspired to be growing up. I kind of took some of the best attributes of my personality when I was young and kind of gave those to Adobe. So it kind of pushed me to become better and it was almost therapeutic in a sense. I've had him as my first, first, one of my first personas, but pretty much my main Sona for just about seven years, maybe a little over that by now. So he's always been part of me. He always will be who I am as a person. He's just always something I viewed a little bit better and something I always will aspire to be to kind of better myself as an individual. You know, I think that's really neat how you came up with your Sona, the extroverted, your personality, just overall you. I think mean, that's a really neat concept how you came up with your Sona. That's really awesome, my dude. I love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. On to the second question now. And that is, who made your fursuit? That would be Clover Cat Creations. She goes by Figby. She's an absolute sweetheart. I end up finding uh, the maker at Anthrocon by one of the business cards just laying around. I message her and a little over a year later, here he is. Um, through Figby, I actually met one of my best friends. His name's Dallas and he's actually my fursuit brother. But yeah, she goes by Clover Cat Creations. Uh, she's been doing fantastic. Her work is phenomenal. Um, and she's been nothing but a pleasure to work with, very helpful, and probably one of the sweetest makers I could have asked for. No, Figby is really cool. They make really, really cute, adorable fursuits, including yours and Dallas's. I love the fursuits they make. Um, of course, I'll leave a link to uh, Adobe's um, social media links, and of course, um, Figby's social media links in the description down below. If you want, <laughs> you want to check them out. Yas, 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 yas. On to the third question now, and that is, who or what inspired you to go into content creation? So who or what got me into content creation? Well, as a kid, I've drawn ever since I could pick up a pencil. Um, I've drawn traditionally and then moved all the way up to the digital arts, and I've done a lot of different mediums since then. But if I had to narrow it down, it'd be all the way down to my high school art teacher. He ran his Photoshop class just for digital editing and whatnot. Well, he always let me pursue my own projects in his class. Him and I learned a lot about what Photoshop was capable of, and then I ended up coming up with the idea of doing a digital comic strip. Now granted, this is something I actually never finished. However, I have all the inner workings of. Learning with him, kind of learning more about Photoshop and what online programs were capable of, he led me down the path going towards social media, which then ended up to content creation. And granted, it's such a different path than where I was at back in the 10th grade. However, he was almost like my second father. Huge support. He even knew I was a furry back then. Um, he wanted to know more about that. And from him, I grew a lot from it, uh, but it all stems from him. And it's been nothing but a pleasure to reach out to him when I can and really know my roots came from him. So yeah, I would say my art teacher from high school is probably my biggest inspiration for where I'm at today. You know, I think that is really awesome, my dude. You had an amazing story there. I love hearing it. Um, I mean, we all go into content creation for many other things. I love hearing your story, my dude. On to the fourth question now, and that is, what is your least favorite kind of music? Yeah. To so no offense to anybody, it's 
it's real simply country. Not a big fan. But hey, teach their own. Just it's not much of my style. But I, I can understand when people like it. But yeah, I've never really been a, been a big fan of country, honestly. You know, I will admit, country is not a favorite for a lot of people. <laughs> for me, the only country singer I like is Shania Twain. I actually saw her live once. But for a lot of people, I can understand not being a favorite. <laughs> so, yes. And now, on to the fifth, 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 and final question now. And that is, what are some positive furries that inspired you when you joined the furry fandom? Yes. Well, I've been a furry for over seven years now. Uh, growing up, I watched a lot of YouTube, and I often... That's my dog. But yeah, growing up, I've often been inspired by Majira Strawberry or Beagle and Red. Um, and that's kind of what got my interest in YouTube and that content creation initially. Now, though, it's been a lot more my friends. And without them, I don't know where I'd be. I've met some of my closest friends in the furry fandom. My friends in the fandom have been nothing but my main support system. Uh, another big thanks to my partner as well, who's been nothing but massive support, providing video ideas, behind the scenes stuff, content, you know, help me with my content creation, a lot of time behind the camera. So between my partner and the friends I met in the fandom, they, they honestly are my inspiration because at the end of the day, all I want to do is make people happy and put a smile on people's faces when I can. Um, and being able to do that and kind of seeing my friends' reactions, kind of their critiques and support as I go through each video along the way. Majira Strawberry, Beagle and Red, those who I who kind of inspired me, but now it's been a lot of my friends being my main support system and my drive to keep going uh, along the way. Yeah, I think that is really neat. Majira was a huge inspiration for many, uh, including me, myself. Um, and that's cool Beagle and Red as well. That's awesome, I love that, yes. And it's just, and that's just awesome. Like over time for me as well, my friends as well have inspired me many. Because overall, like you said, I'm, just, I'm, I'm here to just spread that positivity and, and just help others wherever I can. That's why I do what I do. I just love it. Yas. Yas, yas, yas. Love it. But nonetheless, uh, thank you so much for having me. It's been such a fantastic time, Benji. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. But thank you so much again. I really appreciate it. Again, it was so awesome having you on here, Adobe. You're an amazing person. Such a positive person indeed. If you want to check out Adobe's, um, any of his social media links, I'll leave the description down below. <laughs> I'll also leave the first suit maker, Figby as well in the description down below so be sure to check them both out as well yes i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did give us a like subscribe turn on notifications but as for always and as for always i bid y'all a good farewell my dogs are walking around